scientific notation operations. So what is scientific notation? Well, scientific notation is a number expressed in the form a times 10 to the nth power, where 1 is less than or equal to a is less than 10. So we have our, our a value has to be a number between 1 and 10, including 1, but less than 10, times the power of 10. So for example, Neptune is 2 billion 800 million miles from the sun. If we were to write this in scientific notation, we'd want to put the decimal between the 2 and the 8 to make it a number between 1 and 10, which means it would have 3, 6, 9 place values to move. So the number in scientific notation would be 2.8 times 10 to the 9th power. So let's uh, pause the video here and you guys can write each of these in scientific notation. All right, welcome back. So 17,400 in scientific notation would be 1.74 times 10 to the fourth. The second one would be 2.1204 times 10 to the second power. And the last one, 3.002 times 10 to the negative three. Notice how very small numbers end up with negative exponents. Very large numbers end up with positive exponents. And we can go in the opposite direction. So let's take some numbers that are in scientific notation and put them into standard form. So 9.608 times 10 to the ninth means I need to move that decimal nine places to the right. It's going to take three to get past the eight, and I'm going to need six more zeros. So 9 billion, 608 million. How about 3.5 times 10 to the negative four? Well, I need to move the decimal in the opposite direction. Remember, a negative exponent, I have a very small number. So it's gonna take one to get past the three, and then I'm gonna need three more to have 0 0.00035. How about 3.5 times 10 to the negative three? Moving the decimal to the left for a very small number, one to get past the three, a couple more zeros, and the decimal point. Let's try this last one, 3.5 times 10 to the negative two, 0 0.035. So we see a pattern here when we had this 3.5 that our number of decimal places here got smaller and smaller by one as we decreased um, the exponent, the negative exponent. So one way to perform operations, and operations being add, subtract, multiply, or divide, with scientific notation is to change your number into standard form, then perform our operation, and then after you've added, subtracted, or mul multiplied, or divided, then we can change our answer into scientific notation. So basically what we're going to do is take the number out of scientific notation, add, subtract, multiply, or divide, and then put our solution back into scientific notation. There are other methods of performing add, subtract, multiply, and divide with scientific notation, but I think this is the easiest way for most of us. So for example, if I have four times 10 to the fourth plus nine times 10 to the fourth, I could take four times 10 to the fourth would be 40,000, nine times 10 to the fourth would be 90,000. Then I could perform the addition, 130,000, and then I can take my answer and put in a scientific notation. So to get my number between 1 and 10, I want to put my decimal here between the 1 and the 3, which means it starts here. I'm moving five places over. So I have 1.3 times 10 to the fifth. All right, let's look at a new example. Let's try subtract. We have 8 times 10 to the fourth minus 2 times 10 to the fourth. Well, 8 times 10 to the fourth would be 80,000. 2 times 10 to the 4th is 20,000. Then I can perform my subtraction. This one I can do without a calculator. I can do that in my head pretty easily. 60,000. And then I want to take my solution and put it into scientific notation. So I want to put the decimal after the 6 to make it a number between 1 and 10, which means I started here, added 1, 2, 3, 4 decimal places. So I have 6 times 10 to the 4th as my solution. 
And I can do this with add, subtract, multiply, or divide. So let's try next. Let's look at multiply. We have 7 times 10 squared times 4 times 10 to the 5th. Remember, if there's no sign in between your parentheses, we're talking about multiplication. So 7 times 10 squared is 700. 4 times 10 to the 5th is 40,000. And if I multiply those, I get 280 million. And then to go in scientific notation, to make this a number between 1 and 10, the decimal is going to go here between the 2 and the 8. So 2.8 times 10 to the 8th. Let's look at divide. So how about an example with divide? 8.4 times 10 to the negative 5 divided by 2 times 10 to the negative 8. So let's take it out of scientific notation, put each of these in standard form. So my numerator becomes 0 0.000084, and my denominator becomes 0 0.000002, and then I can do the division in the calculator. Remember, I always want to put the top number in first into my calculator, so I got 0 0.00084 divided by the denominator, and I get 4,200. And in scientific notation, that would be 4.2 times 10 to the third. All right, I think you guys are ready to try one on your own. You guys pause the video here and multiply the two numbers in scientific notation. All right, welcome back. So first thing we want to do is put each of these in standard form. So 3 times 10 to the negative fifth would be 0 0.00003, and I'm going to multiply that by 0 0.05 to get 0 0.000015 as a decimal. And to put my answer in scientific notation, I'm going to want that decimal to be between the 1 and the 5. And I have 1.5 times 10 to the negative 6. Remember, this is a very small number, and we're talking about moving over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 places. So that's going to be to the negative 6. All right, last one. You guys give this one a shot. Take it out of standard, uh, out of scientific notation, put them in standard form, do the division, and then put your final answer in scientific notation. All right, welcome back. Hopefully we have this worked out here. So the numerator, we should have 0 0.0015. The denominator, we should have 6,000. And if I divide 0 0.0015 divided by 6,000, I get 0 0.0000025. In scientific notation, 2.5 times 10 to the negative 7. And I hope that helps you guys doing adding, subtracting, multiplying, dividing with scientific notation. O-U-T spells out.